Hello, welcome to the LimeRoad Seller Portal. Today, we will learn how to upload a catalog. Let's go to seller.trunkroot.com on your browsers. Now, enter your username and password. After you have logged in, please go to the left top option and click on Upload Catalog. To add the products in bulk, please select the first option, download the Excel file format and select the category of product that you want to upload the catalog for. For example, if you want to upload the catalog for kurtas, please select kurtas and click on download. Now your file has downloaded. Please open the excel sheet. After opening the excel sheet, Please click on Enable Editing so that you are able to fill in the details. As you can see, there are four sheets in the file. Please go to the fourth sheet and start going through the columns. You will be able to see the green columns and the pink columns. The green columns are mandatory and you have to fill the details in all of them. However, the pink columns are not mandatory and you can leave them blank. Let's start from filling in the first column. In the first column, you have to select the brand name from the drop down menu. In the second column, please enter the style code. In the third column, you have to enter the style code along with the size of the product. In the fourth column, please mention the product description. Moving on to the fifth column, this is the column for color. You have to select the color of the product from the drop down menu only as you cannot enter any new text in this column. Moving on to the next column for the material of the product, again Please select the lining material of the product from the drop down menu too. The next column is for the length of the product. Please make sure that you enter only the numerical value of the length of the product in inches. For example, if this kurta is 38 inches long, we have mentioned only 38 in this column. In the next column, you have to mention any kind of work or embroidery that the product may have. Moving on to the MRP and the selling price of the product. Moving on to the next column, which is the column for inventory. Please enter the VAT percentage in the next column as per applicable. Now, select the size of the product from the drop down menu in the size column. In the next column, please mention if the product has any attached leaves or not. And if yes, please select the material of the sleeve. You can skip the Q, R and S columns as they are not mandatory. Let's go to the next mandatory column in which you have to mention if the product is exclusively available on Lime Road or not. Now, moving on to the prints and pattern column, please select what the print and pattern of the product is from the drop down menu. And mention the length of the sleeves of the product. As you can see, the drop down menu has the types of sleeves of the product. You can skip these non mandatory columns. Now we have successfully filled in the details of the first kind of product. If you want to add more sizes of the same product, 
please follow these steps. Select the columns till column G and drag them down to duplicate the text. Please don't forget to change the size in column C. And also enter the correct length of the product in inches. Follow the same steps for column number I, J, K, L, L to duplicate the text. Enter the VAT percentage as per applicable and select the correct sizes. For all the columns that the text in all the four rows is the same, you can simply drag and duplicate the text. You can see the last six pink columns of the sheet. These are for uploading image URLs. If you have the image URLs of your product from separate angles, you can copy and paste them here. For example, here I have four different angles of the product that I am copying and pasting in the four columns in my sheet. Please make sure that you have at least four angles of the product in the form of images. Now. For more sizes of the same product, all you have to do is select and drag the same images for all sizes of the product. We have now successfully completed filling in details for all products. Please go to the file option to save your file. Let's go back to our browser. You can see the option add products in bulk. Please click on it and choose the file that you just saved on your desktop. Click on upload file. Click on the continue to process results button to see all your results. You can see four dialog boxes. The first and the second boxes show the number of SKUs processed recently. If you have any old SKUs already present on the system, the third dialog box shows the number of those SKUs. If you have any failed SKUs, the fourth dialog box shows the number of those failed SKUs. Now, if you did not enter the image URLs in your Excel sheet, then please click on continue to image upload to manually upload the images of your products. When you click on click to upload images, the new tab will open. On the new tab, please go to the top left option button and go to the image upload option at the bottom. Another tab will open in your browser. Now 
From the drop down menu of brands, select the name of your brand. As you can see, your recent upload status is being shown. Now click on upload button to upload the zip file of your images. Please make sure that the format of the images is in a zip file. We have now successfully completed the process of uploading a catalog. For any other assistance or any queries, please drop us an email to live to site at limeroad.com. We really hope you found this tutorial helpful and we wish you have a very happy selling experience with Limeroad. Thank you.